If you're looking for a new ceramic supplier, or even thinking about ceramic components, then I have a secret for you. I do. Would you like to know the way to save money? We've done it for customers in the saw business. We've done it for customers in the, in the laser business. We've done it for people in the semiconductor business. Ion implant equipment. We've also done it for companies that are in mass spectrometry. So basically there are four reasons that you would use ceramic components. Wear resistance, high temperature. Or you need electrical uh, insulation, uh, chemical resistance. Ceramics, sometimes your last resort, but the best solution. Hi, my name is Jay Higgins. I'm the owner and president of International Ceramic, and it's a family-owned business that I own with my brother. One of the things that, that we really bring to the table is that we're not afraid to try new challenges. Well, we think we're very good at making complex shapes, and we're also good at engineering out costs. If you were looking to have ceramics made, uh, very often you would find that a lot of companies would start with a block and then they would hard grind all of these features. It would take a significant amount of time to abrade away the fully dense material. So diamond wheels and drills are used and it's very labor intensive and very costly. That's primarily how most ceramic houses do it. The way to save money and get your parts faster is to machine it green. Here at International Ceramics, we machine it green. What is machining green, you ask? We believe in machining before centering. We're able to put the features, your important features, into these ceramic components before the components are sintered, before they become fully dense. Some of the features you can install during green machining are, are sometimes only possible while green. You can remove a lot more material in the green state. You can remove hundreds of thousands where if you have to diamond grind it, you're removing half a thousand. So after it's fired and it comes out, we don't have to do any post-fire machining, which really is where the cost is in the component. When we're green machining, we can turn parts, mill parts, surface grind parts very quickly and remove that material. Traditional drills and mills that you see in everyday metals machining can only be used in the green state. When you're in the hard state, specialty diamond tools are required. The drill, once, once ceramic is fired, will just disintegrate when, when you press it against a ceramic part. We have additional complexities added because there's different linear shrinkage to radial shrinkage, which makes it even more difficult, but we're able to do it. When we're machining these pieces, they have to be about 17% bigger because they shrink uh, in the kiln. Here's a fantastic example of what I mean by machining it green. This is a green part that's been machined before sintering. We calculate out the shrinkage rate and we fire the component in our kiln. There are many companies that don't have this technique, this capability or the knowledge to be able to green machine the way that we do um, and have components come out of the kiln complete. We do help with product design as well as applications engineering. We're willing to take those more difficult challenges. And then we work together to figure out what material works best for them and then we start with the design process um, trying to save them money right away on making a component that we can green grind in a uh, near net shape so when it comes out of the furnace it's almost completed. What International Ceramics does that is so different from almost all the other ceramic manufacturers is we encourage prototyping. We're not worried about one piece, three piece, five piece orders. We're here to help you with material selection, design ideas, and a manufacturable component in the end. We want to get your project off the ground. And it's an actual part. It's not a 3D printed part. The part has been pressed from powder, green machined, sintered, and post-fire ground to your tolerances. A great jumping off point for your prototype projects would be a thought exchange. We invite any of our customers to do a thought exchange with us. More than happy to share ideas, give you ideas. And it's not quite a seminar because that's a one-way street. A thought exchange is a collaboration. The people that work here are dedicated, they're intelligent, they're driven, they're passionate about what they do. 
These are craftsmen, and the average amount of time that they've been here is about 15 years. They're part of the family. I love doing what I'm doing. I love when I get a blank piece from the green area. I love programming it. I love holding that finished part. When it comes to making ceramic components, materials really matter. So we have a system in place that will trace the powder all the way through to production and shipment of your component, and then we will certify that material to make sure that you have what you have ordered. So aluminum oxide is used mainly for high temperature, wear resistance, and for chemical attack. Boron nitride is used under vacuum. It can reach temperatures up to 3,000 degrees C, and it's used for filament insulation most of the time. Zirconia has very excellent fracture toughness and is excellent in pump components, things where you're seeing cavitation or vibration. It has higher strength than alumina. Steatite is a material that can be used uh, primarily for electrical isolation purposes. Macor is a machinable glass. Macor is a great material to use if you're prototyping components. It can be conventionally tooled. Sometimes international ceramics works with exotic ceramic materials, silicon nitride being one of them. This is a component that was designed and made to measure speed. And it was very expensive to work with this material because the material is incredibly dense, one of the most dense ceramics. Many times we'll have a customer come to us with a component that they want to have manufactured. Uh, that they have been using. We'll reverse engineer it for you, we'll send you a print to sign off on, and we'll make a few prototypes so that you can try it out and see if it works in your equipment the way the previous parts have worked. Well, we do manufacture some standard components such as uh, rods, tubes. Crucibles, uh, we also have substrates. This is a standard tube. We have extruded and cast tubes. We have standoffs, which we make in alumina and steatite. And here is a bearing we make in zirconia and alumina as well. And we also do fasteners, washers, and nuts and bolts. We have the capability to laser scribe serial numbers onto components so it's traceable. And when you machine it green, it's the absolute best way to go. It's to machine it green. Machine it green. Machineitgreen.com. We want to make your products.